Hello, hello friends. So I'm coming at you today with day four of our Dollar Tree DIY. And I am super excited about this one. I think that it turned out really, really cute. Um, I know that it's like a really big thing right now to have um, the little tags that go on the stockings. That way you can put the name um, of, the, of the child or, you know, adult, whatever you're making stockings for. And I absolutely have been looking for these all year long. Now, I did find some for about six bucks a piece, um, you know, and you can make them with a Cricut and all that good stuff. But I just kind of wanted to make it myself with Dollar Tree items. And I just wanted something that was a little bit more my style. Um, and so I found something at Dollar Tree I really, really like. So they, in the Crafter Square, um, they have a lot of these little... Um, wood cutouts. Now they have hearts, they have stars, they have circles, they have all different kinds of um, cutouts. And I picked the hearts for my girls and I'm gonna do the circles for my boys. Um, but I wanted to show you these. I think they're super cute. So they have this little outline um, right here and they're black on the one side, but they are raw wood on the back. So you could even do something on this side if this is more your theme or your color. But I think that we got like six of these inside of a pack. Um, and then they also come with, let me show you this, um, a, a twine, right here to have for each ornament. So you're just gonna tie that around it. So what I was gonna show you is in the Crafter Square, they also have these um, white metallic markers. Okay, that's from Crafter Square. Um, and then they also have the chalk writer. The chalk writer is better for like larger um, chalkboards, I guess. I did try it at first and I kind of messed it up, um, as you can see, kind of like on this ornament. And I did try to wipe it off the best I could and it came off a little bit, but I'm just gonna have to get rid of that one because it, it just drives me crazy. So I ended up using the Crafter Square uh, metallic marker in white. And what I did was I wrote my girls' names on the tag and then put like a couple little stars just to kind of decorate it. Um, but I wanted to show you how that turned out. So all I did was I took the marker and um, this is my daughter Holly's. I wrote her name on it, put a couple little stars there. And then I took the twine and I just tied it right around my stocking. So this is how it looks really cute when it's hung up. I'm gonna put a picture down below, so don't forget to check that out. Uh, but this is how hers turned out. Um, and I also have one for um, my other daughter that I make some for my boys. Um, but I am posting the picture of the girls down below so y'all could check that out. But these turned out super cute. I really love them. I'm really excited to see how the little circles um, turn out. And they do have like the tag, like the regular ones that look like tags. Um, and then the other day when I showed y'all the Jenga blocks, that's another thing you can do. You can take Take one Jenga block and you can uh, stain it or paint it whatever color you want and you can either cricket their name on there write their name on there whatever you want to do and they do have black chalkboard paint at the Dollar Tree so you could take the wood you can paint it yourself get the marker that I just showed you write their name on it and then just glue some twine on the back and make yourself this more with like a rectangle so they're super cute, easy and affordable. I literally can make six stockings out of the one packet and then you have to get the one pen. So that's $2 to make six different stockings with names. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I hope that you'll go out to the Dollar Tree to the Crafter Square and just kind of look around, just kind of browse and don't get into too much trouble. I know I always do. <laughs> so anyways, um, check out the picture below. I hope y'all love this. Y'all have a great day. Bye, I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget, tomorrow is a no so. Um, I'm making a buffalo check pillow tomorrow for you guys because it goes with my decor, but it could be any kind of pillow. Um, so just get ready and excited. I'm going to show y'all how to do that on a dime. So y'all have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye.